This animation details how to use MGF's excavator mounted vibrators, also known as EMVs. EMVs are excavator attachments that use vibrations to drive steel sheet piles into the ground by clamping directly onto the pan of the sheet, and are generally used with the pre-drive sheet installation method. The pre-drive method is the safest and most accurate method of getting sheets installed with little risk of the sheets kicking in during excavation. For details regarding the pre-drive sheet installation method, please refer to the animated user guide or document, found on the MGF YouTube channel and website. MGF's EMVs are suitable for excavator capacities ranging from 6 to 40 ton, sheet lengths up to 7 meters, and ground types of very loose to dense granular or soft cohesive. Consideration does need to be given to the EMV and sheet combination for the grounder sheets are being installed in. The choice of sheet is usually dictated by the stresses imposed through installing the sheet over those produced by the lateral earth pressure alone. Please contact MGF Piling Division to discuss sheet suitability. The EMV will be delivered to site in a carry frame. This features fork pockets for handling with a FLT as well as lifting lugs for transporting using lifting chains. Unload the EMV carry frame to a clear, level area. An MGF fitter will be attendance for the machine setup. There are two ways to connect the EMV to the excavator, either manually pinning it directly to the excavator dipper arm, or by connecting it to the excavator quick hitch mechanism via an MGF quick hitch connector. This animation will detail how to use the EMV quick hitch connector, which is the quickest, simplest method. Please contact MGF to discuss excavator compatibility. All bolts and connections should be checked before every use as the vibrations can cause them to become loose. EMVs operate by creating vibrations which are transferred through the sheet pile into the ground. This fluidizes the ground around the sheet, allowing the sheet to drive into the ground under its own self-weight. Due to the vibrations generated special care should be taken when using this installation method near to any structures. Ensure adequate PPE is worn at all times. Operatives must not work underneath any suspended loads, and loads must never be lifted over operatives. The EMV comes with a safety chain and chain clamp that should the EMV clamp release, will stop the sheet from dropping. There must be visual contact between the excavator driver and the slingsman at all times. Ensure that no operatives are within the full radius of the sheet when it is in operation. When the EMV is ready for use, the ratchet straps connecting it to the frame should be removed. The excavator quick hitch should now connect to the EMV quick hitch head. Once the EMV is grounded, the restraining chains that connect the EMV to the carry frame should be removed. The EMV must now be connected to the excavator hydraulic system. The clamp can now be opened to release the EMV from the carry frame. Prior to use it is recommended to allow the excavator engine to warm up and the EMV allowed to run freely for around 30 seconds. Ideally the sheets should be laid as close as practicable to where they are to be installed. The safety chain should be inserted through the sheet's lower handling hole. To do this the chain clamp must first be removed, this is done by depressing the button on the chain clamp and pulling it off. To pick up the sheet using the EMV the top sheet will need to be chopped to gain access to the lower handling hole. Maximum sheet length is determined by the excavator boom lengths. The EMV will need to be positioned to allow the lifting chain to be inserted through the lower handling hole. The chain clamp is then attached to the chain and pulled to secure the sheet in place. Ideally leave at least 6 links from the free end of the chain to the chain clamp. It is essential to leave enough tolerance on the chain for when the sheet is lifted into a vertical orientation, ensure the chain does not snag. The EMV must stay upright and horizontal at all times. The EMV should now lift the sheet into a vertical position. 
Keeping the bottom of the sheet on the ground the EMV jaw should be fully opened and lowered over the sheet pan before clamping in place. Operatives may be required to support the sheet while the EMV is clamped onto the pan of the sheet. When the pressure of the EMV clamp gets above 210 bar, the unit will start to vibrate. Only start the unit vibrating when the sheet is positioned ready for piling, and operatives are well clear. It is recommended to check the alignment of the sheet prior to piling, and for the first sheet pile it is recommended to keep checking the alignment throughout its piling process. Ensure the EMV is clamped so it is aligned with the sheet pile. The EMV is now ready to start piling the sheet. The EMV is supplied with a tag line to control the rotation of the unit when it is connected to the excavator. If the alignment of the sheet is to be checked during the driving process the EMV must be stopped before anyone approaches the sheet. The EMV can become very hot during operation, ensure it does not overheat and monitor the temperature of the oil. Do not touch the unit after use unless wearing appropriate PPE. If the sheet gets stuck the pile must not be forced using the excavator boom, this is known as reaching refusal. As a guide this is if the sheet does not move more than 250 mm in 5 minutes of operation. The sheet may need to be removed and piling attempted again. If this does not work then the ground might require loosening up, possibly using a drill, or a larger EMV may be required. If the sheet stops being driven, there is a chance of rebound, which happens when the sheet hits an impenetrable layer or obstruction. This is where the EMV's energy is reflected back up through the sheet, which can cause the EMV or head plates to excessively vibrate. If this happens driving must be stopped immediately as this could seriously damage the EMV. Prior to the removal of the sheets, the lifting chain must be inserted through the sheet's lower handling hole, ideally there should be a sufficient upstand on the sheet to allow this. If not the EMV will need to extract the sheet enough to be able to install the chain. Once the chain is secured the EMV can clamp onto the sheet pan. The EMV can now start vibrating to remove the sheet. Do not forcibly remove the sheet using the EMV should it become stuck. Once the sheet has been removed it should be stood in a vertical position so the EMV clamp can release. The sheet can then be laid onto a stack. Once all the sheets have been removed the EMV can be put back in the carry frame and fully clamped, ensuring that the pressure is between 100 and 200 bar. The carry frame chains should be secured to the EMV. The hydraulic hoses can now be removed and the excavator quick hitch can disengage. Ratchet straps should now be secured around the unit. The EMV is now ready for returning to MGF.